in this particular project, we have brought something new to life, which is called a man-made beach. So basically, it's a 45,000 square foot size of a man-made beach, which gives you a feel of a being in a resort, yet being in your own residential building. Hello and welcome back to Deals with Simon. Today, we are again in the Ellington Properties Sales Office, as you already can see here. We're gonna cover the Mercer House, which is one of their recent launches in JLT, Trumero Lakes Towers. This project consists of two towers. It's just phenomenal when we're considering the amount of amenities they put in, when we're considering the views and the whole idea behind that concept. I brought on Tarek, which is my trusted partner here at Ellington, and he, together with me, will explain everything which you should know in order to make a final decision about this particular project. With that being said, let's enjoy all the action. Murtagh House stands as a beacon of urban sophistication and contemporary design, comprising two striking towers that gracefully punctuate the skyline. These iconic structures provide residents with sweeping vistas of the dynamic cityscape and the pristine Dubai coastline. Its architectural design seamlessly fuses modern aesthetics with practical living, creating a harmonious and visually stunning environment. Mercer House South presents an impressive structure with one basement, ground floor, four podiums, level one amenities, and 34 residential floors. Mercer House, a lifestyle destination. Awesome, let's start with the location as always when you discover a new project and let's pinpoint to Google Maps because it gives us a very clear indicator on uh, where we are and what are the major key elements to look on and to consider. Now, Mercer House by Ellington, which is located in JLT, Trumera Lakes Towers, as we can see here in the south of Dubai, a beautiful area. It's an area that is already like very much developed, one of the older communities and older areas here in Dubai, which you have to have in mind. It's kind of the, on the right side is the Sheikh Road here, this uh, the E11, the roads as we already know it, the Road that connects like all the major key destinations not only in Dubai but into the other uh, Emirates as well and we have the Blue Waters Island over here we have the Chumera Beach residence here next to the sea JVR and the Dubai Marina on the other side of the canal and on the other side of the Sheikh Zayed Road actually we have the whole area of JLT Chumera Lakes Towers with the uh, different clusters with the famous clusters we see it here uh, for example very very good okay now what we have to consider here the particular plot is here and I'm gonna use this overview for a second now we can see it very very good and in a moment after this particular sequence you can see where I'm standing at the plot and pinpoint to a couple of very important things around the location that you see how it looks like right now at this particular moment and what is actually the update of the construction. Back to reality now that we have seen everything on Google Maps it's super important that with the perfect comparison to the physical world to the reality and to the construction right now um, it's always kind of challenging for me to bring you to those plots and to bring you like an update of the construction because like security first here in Dubai and uh, me and my videographer team we already like face some issues when we want to enter those constructions but for me those transparency factors are super important because I want you to really understand and know what's going on like the handover date for this particular project Mercer House will be 2027 so that means within the next three years and a couple of months three and a half years this whole thing here will be fully developed, fully finished and handed over on time if everything goes by plan. And that's why I wanted to show you the construction, how it looks right now. And in three years from now, we're going to have another update with hopefully the perfect building where you will live or you as an investor have your own units. Great. And there we are in front of the mock-up of the Mercer House. And within the next couple of minutes, I want to pinpoint all the most important things of this project and why it's so special and what are the USPs behind it. So, as in the last video, which we shoot it with Ellington, I have Tarek next to me. Tarek is like a very close friend of mine and a trusted partner here. And whenever I have a question, I directly approach him because uh, he's just a great guy and he knows exactly what he's talking about. Tarek, Mercer House. What, let's start with the USPs first. What from your perspective are the two or three main USPs of this project? And how would you explain it a couple of sentences put all together? Indeed, Simon. Hello everyone. And I just want to talk today about my favorite project, for Ellington. So Simon, let me tell you one thing. It has been really long time. We haven't seen such a project like a Mercer in town. Mercer is, a, is an identity of so many important things, starting from the strategic location located in JLT, that is just five minutes away from the beach, yeah. that is uh, five minutes away from the airport, uh, from the, the Palm, yeah. and that is located in the heart 
of the free zone area of the south part of Dubai, yeah. where most of the uh, corporate companies are located that has a very big attraction of uh, corporate lifestyle and residential. So strategic location is definitely the first part, the first USP. For all of you who are very new to the channel or new to Dubai, JLT means Trumera Lakes Towers and it's kind of next to the marina. We just uh, got a, a picture that you understand where JLT is right now. So that's the first thing. What is the second USP you already covered like, um, and you mentioned like a project which we have rarely here in Dubai. Like why? What's so special about it? Exactly. Let me tell you, Simon. So basically in Dubai, we have two entities. We have the DIFC and we have the DMCC. The DF DIFC is a free zone that attracts all the financial institutions, uh -huh. while the DMCC attracts all the multi-commodities. So in, in, the, in the south part of Dubai, it's the DMCC part which also has a lot of, uh, of uh, corporate companies that have been operating for so long. Hence, we don't see any attraction of lifestyles. That's why the part of GLT, as you can see it here, we call it Uptown. This Uptown is going to be actually the new DIFC of the south part ah, of Dubai, which will be covering it. 200 commercial uh, stores, mix of uh, residential and retail. Uh, sorry, mix of uh, retail and F&B. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Meaning food and beverage. Exactly, okay. food and beverage. Meaning that the restaurants that are going to be operating there basically will have a liquor license. Uh -huh. Means alcohol is permitted. Important to mention that because that's uh, something which we have to cover here in Dubai. It's not very common. It's exactly. Important. Okay, that's awesome. Now, before we deep dive into the project itself, before I explain you everything about the amenities, facilities, and everything around the project, you already can see the two towers here in the background. Just a beautiful uh, brochure, beautiful graphs and renders here from the developer because Ellington is just a boutique, high quality developer. But that's why I'm so excited about this project. Before we're gonna stick to it, I want to add one more thing about the location because you can see here the Sheikh Zayed Road in the middle. This is the uh, direction to downtown, for example. Okay, this is the direction to uh, Abu Dhabi, respectively, Jebel Ali in the future, this whole area which will be developed here uh, towards Dubai South. Now we are located here, those are the two towers as you can see them, uh, with JLT. Here are the clusters. Uh, Chumera Park is here on this side. We have Chumera Islands, beautiful, breathtaking views uh, onto the Chumera Islands here, which consists only of like, just amazing villas. Emirates Hills is over here. And you can see, that's what I wanted to show you. First, Al Khay Road directly connects you to the other side here. So within a couple of minutes, on like five to maximum 10 minutes, even if there's traffic, you're over there in the Marina Mall, you're over there directly at the beach because the connectivity uh, onto this side is very much given, okay? That's what I wanted to show you here in this overview, just to make this uh, clear. And you can see in terms of the uh, proximity here are uh, the driving distance as well please stop the video in case that you want to look at it closer i want to pinpoint now about the most important facts of this project phenomenal let's continue with the usp number three what we have when we look directly into like in the middle of those two buildings right by the way we have the south tower and the north tower here we're going to cover the buildings in a second but what sticks out is a forty-five thousand square foot lagoon as you want with a private beach like right in the middle in the centric on the plaza in between of those two towers is that Tarek the USP number three or how would you summarize USP number three of the whole project exactly Simon so basically today we don't just do uh, regular pools but we do resort field pools uh, and in this particular project we have brought something new to life which is called a man-made beach so basically it's a 45,000 square foot size of a man-made beach which gives you a feel of uh, being in a resort yet being in your own residential building. Great, now it's time to go a bit deeper into the project because we were covering like the top USPs from the macro perspective and now it's important for everyone who is super interested in that project in particular or just like a unit, a property from Ellington. What actually is this what we can see here? Like that looks absolutely fancy. Mm -hmm. Can you explain us this idea behind the plaza here? Exactly, so basically Simon, uh, the idea of uh, doing this project is we wanted to give our, our uh, 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 clients the feel of being in the new Times Square uh -huh. of Dubai. So as you know, Times Square is very famous for its uh, LED lightings and advertisements. So that's why you will be seeing the building's connectivities are with uh, podium levels and all uh, s uh, screen mirrorings. Uh -huh. However, the plan of having uh, the plaza in the middle is to combine a lifestyle with its cultures meaning that they're going to be hosting uh, like a concerts, uh, educational stuff to attract more lifestyle to the area. When we are planning to make our podiums levels connected by uh, the commercial uh, spaces to create more of a lifestyle. 
Let's continue with the building structure from the magnet perspective. Now, I wanted to show you this particular graph real quick uh, so that you can orient on yourself. You have uh, three overviews, for example, three different perspectives. And we have the two towers here, the South Tower and the North Tower, whereas the North Tower is the taller building with in total 41 residential floors. Now, let's dive into it so we can see, for example, the uh, unit mix on this particular side here. Orange colored, we focus on the North Tower because we only have some available stock in the North Tower, some very uh, high quality two and three bedroom units in terms of the availability. Uh, I'll cover that in a second, but the South Tower is completely fully sold out within one day. And so it was like just a very high success, the whole launch. We will stick to the amenities and facilities in a second. So I will pinpoint and show you where everything is located because there is a huge mix and a huge amount of uh, high quality amenities. That is just the specialty about this project and one of the USPs by sh for sure. And uh, we have like a huge retail food and beverage area. Uh, downstairs, we have the huge artificial lagoon in the middle, which is colored here in purple. And we have the parkings, which I'm gonna cover in a second. But for now, I wanna stick to this graph for a second to pinpoint you the, the tower. As I said, 41 residential floors. We have four podiums, which are here for parking, like P1, 2, 3, and P4. We have one basement level and one ground floor level. And on the right side, you can see, of course, it's a freehold area that you're eligible to buy. And we are we having like 19 passenger elevators in those two towers, whereas there are six service elevators, which means, for example, if you order food, or if you order like different other um, items and, and certain things, then a delivery guy is coming. And those uh, people, they have separate elevators so that your, uh, as a resident, that your privacy is completely given, which is just awesome. We have approximately roughly 22 dirhams uh, per square foot in service charges, anticipated service charges that could adjust when the project is then finally uh, completed and handed over and compared to for example an address residence compared for example to another like high quality luxury residence this is absolutely comparable uh, i will cover that with you together and calculate with you together um, whenever we have a conversation. We have the Q3, Q4, depending then, it's hard to say uh, at the dates, of course, when the handover is 2027. Uh, the parkings here and the last graph I wanted to show you here is the unit mix, which is important. Now, as you can see here, we have from studios beginning over one, two, three beds, four beds, penthouses. We have the two beds um, split in two bedroom plus two, pl two plus study. There are two different uh, formats of the two beds and obviously two, uh, a couple of different types then within those two categories. And there you can see the total amount and numbers of units when the launch, okay? So that means at this particular point when I record the video and at the particular point when you see this video, chances are very high that we do not have the same stock available uh, in terms of the total availability. I want to show you the most important thing which I can see here, and that is the sizes, the size ranges. Now the one beds, they start at 931 square foot up to 972, which is for one bed, a very large layout nowadays uh, in the year 2024. And we see that, for example, as well with the two bedroom apartments, they start at 1,375, and go up nearly to 1,500 square foot. The study is slightly little bigger, which makes sense. And I want to pinpoint especially to the three bedroom apartments because we only had like 43 units in total when the launch was. And especially right now at this moment, we still have got some very interesting units available. Okay, that's just for the overview. So large sizes, that's something the developer never um, shrinks and never uh, goes down on. And we have here the whole overview of the units. That is the structure again, that you can see uh, in terms of the amenities and facilities, which we're gonna see in a second. Uh, that's just the overview. Continuing with the building and the unit allocation, Tarek will give us like a brief introduction uh, about the most important and most relevant things to consider and to know about when we're speaking about the units. So we actually have two towers. We have the South Tower and the North Tower, whereas the North Tower is obviously taller with more residential floors. Tarek, the South Tower is already completely sold out because that was launch number one. When they launched the North Tower, they actually separated the launches in two phases. Phase one was sold out immediately. And from the phase two, we still have multiple units available, uh, which have like awesome views as well. So those, those are not, not um, any, any less quality units, but it's just about the timing. And I want you to explain us like what, why Mercer House, besides all the things which we covered already, why those units? So basically, uh, Simon, when we do launches of a project, we always like to attract like-minded people. And our, our aim is not to launch a project and to sell out the project in one shot. So we wanna give the opportunity for people to have the chance to be part of the success. Meaning when we launch a tower that has, uh, when we launch a project that has two towers, mm -hmm. basically we launch the first tower individually, mm -hmm. we definitely sell out. And that's the reason why we launched the second tower partially, mm -hmm. to give actually a, a, a opportunity for who haven't had the chance to buy from the first launch, we will buy from the second launch. 
Coming on to the favorites of the whole project, and that's by far the amenities and facilities because they're on so many different levels. And the amount, you will see that in a couple of seconds, the amount of facilities and the quality itself is just outstanding. And that's why I want to pinpoint it over the next uh, couple of moments. Okay, let's start and let's have an overview um, how it sees, uh, how it looks like from down from the ground floor, for example. Here's the ground floor retail plaza. Then we have like the podiums. We have the parkings down here with the escalator. Over there, we have the parkings here, which are the podium P1, 2, Three, four, as I already explained it, and then there is the beach, uh, the clubhouse, and that's where the residential floors begin. Now let's start in the ground floor amenities. That's the drop-off area, actually. That's one of three pop-off areas, and um, you can like let out a friend, a family member, whatever, and uh, they take the escalator and can get themselves up, as you can see them here. Okay, and then the whole journey starts. What you can see here is the lobby area, just absolutely beautiful. Um, like the quality and the finishings, the materials Ellen is using, for not only for the apartments, but for the whole building. Uh, it's just like stunning, and that's why the whole thing looks absolutely amazing. You can see here, for example, the lobby again. Uh, everything in white, everything like in a very beautiful uh, modern touch. That is just like the Ellington design in total in general. Here are the whole elevators. We can see, for example, here the outside area. This is like the, the ground floor retail place, okay, with multiple restaurants, with bars, uh, which with everything which you want to have kind of in a master community. So actually what, what this should be, okay, is uh, kind of, I, I wouldn't say, call, I wouldn't call it a copy, but I would say it was like inspiration based on the Times Square uh, of New York, for example, or um, what other developers are doing with master communities they wanted to create within those two towers in the middle they wanted to create like a whole spectrum of so many amenities that it just seems like a master community even though you have like only a couple of minutes over there to the marina to JVR or something else but still they added anything and included anything okay which is just uh, awesome you can see here there's a multi-sports hall down there on the ground floor uh, I love the, those LED lights I can already imagine uh, how, how awesome this could be uh, playing tennis there for example and um, which you can see here is the uptown plaza here's the planet ground floor amenities and you can use because i won't explain everything because then we would sit here tomorrow you can use the numbers which you have here and next to the numbers is uh, given what actually is the specific amenity here and uh, you can orient yourself we have for example uh, which you can see one tower here this is not the south tower and we have the north tower here and in the middle as i already explained like the, the whole drop-off area, then you go up to the escalator and then you can like see tuck, 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 where is what, okay? So let's continue with the podium amenities. Now we have like podium two, three and four, and then we have like even more on the on the residential levels. We have more amenities as well. That's what I wanted to say with the amount, which is just like awesome. We have like the restaurants and outdoor terrace here. Uh, we do have um, here a retail center, the clubhouse and everything. We have here the overview again, that is always the plan of the podium two level amenities facilities. We have the podium three and four level here with a paddle court, a squash court, and the plan here again. Okay, so first floor, there is the famous lagoon in the middle, the famous beach. Is a lagoon, a beach pool, whatever you want to call it, but here is like the sand, so it should be like a kind of urban artificial beach, 45,000 square foot in total size, which is just huge. And uh, this is like not, uh, I don't know any project which has something built in yet, and where it's launched, handed over, and I can already imagine because of the idea of Ellington that this is just super fancy and they stick to every single little detail, okay? They have like an integrated pool bar here in the science, beach bar, uh, clubhouse. When you look at those pictures, I think you can get an imagination of what they're trying to accomplish. Like first floor, exclusive residence stuff. Here we have the indoor kids play area. We have a games room. Just like the amount what they included here is just phenomenal for me. Um, I'm really uh, stunned by, by the quality, by the level which they're delivering here, which they're planning to deliver here. That's why we chose it in particular, okay? The plan as well. Then on the 12th and on the 31st floor, there are some more um, pools and especially, here's the clubhouse private dining. I wanted to show you this particular pool. Now the Skyline pool is just awesome. When you look at here with the corner with the views we have over here, there's the address, for example. Okay, we already saw that uh, when I showed you the plot, the construction, and we saw the address in uh, the background. Uh, beautiful building. And this is, for example, the gym. This is the fitness studio. And the studios, the fitness studio, the studios of Ellington itself, they are extremely large. They are huge in size and they're very modern, very well equipped. And you go in there and you think like you're like in a real high, high quality gym where you pay a membership, for example. Okay. That is what they wanted to create. And that's what I like about the developer itself, that they pay attention to those little details. They have like a sauna on the left room, uh, on the left side, which is common and used in most of the residential towers and the new ones. But what is not very common is that they have like a, an ice an ice room which is very cold and this is just awesome and amazing okay 
12, uh, 12 floor amenities which we covered right now here in the nutshell in the overview and on the 31st floor which you can see here there is the huge pool with the awesome views and uh, that's the overview for the amenities and facilities. Phenomenal and to sum it up it's important that we cover like some more amenities and the ideas behind specific things. So we already covered the huge lagoon in the middle but there are some some other elements like for example the pools here on the side which you can see like on the corners. Can you explain a bit more about the most recent the most important amenities here in this whole building? Indeed Simon, so here we have an infinite pool located on the 23rd floor that is overlooking all the skyline of the Blue Waters, of the Marina and of the JLT. And that's actually an adult pool only. Mm. So this is why we always come back to the identity that uh, Ellington likes to create is comfort of living. So uh, at, the, at the ground floor, we have the kids pool area, while we have at the back side of the, of the building, a family pool area. Yeah. Those are even separate pools than the actual man-made beach mm. in between the connectivity of the two buildings. So the idea, Tariq, the idea behind those multiple uh, pools and those multiple amenities in total is that you have kind of a separation, but more space and more freedom for example, like the families, for example, like the adults, for example, like the kids. Is that the idea behind it? Exactly. So basically what we want is that we want to give comfort towards our resident, mm -hmm. not to be uh, mixed and yeah. yet to be diversified in their lifestyles and in their uh, free time. Finally, we come to the floor plans. We come to the different layouts and we now going to go into the inside of the different apartments so that you know exactly what kind of unit types are there existing and what kind of units do you have, which kind of views. I want to show you that very transparently and we start with the general overview of the different types. Okay, we have the studios, for example, which are in green, which we have here. We have two types of studio, type A and type B. They're set here, for example. We have the one bedroom apartment, this particular color, uh, which is on the floor three to 11. In this particular color, we have, let's call it a beige, two beds room, okay? Two beds, one, two, three here, for example, okay? Uh, two beds and two plus study have the same color, very important to mention. And we have the three bedroom apartments, uh, which you can see here, okay, the two different types with the study, the plus S stands for study type A, for example, here, okay? And you can see always on the left side here in the corner at which particular stage and which height those floor plan link to. Now, let's go into it so when we go a little bit higher, for example, 13 to 21 and 32nd to the 39th floor. We do have, for example, this particular layout as again, the colors do not change. The colors are exactly the same. And I think you can uh, already understand and imagine what kind of units are positioned at which particular uh, area. I would definitely recommend and stick to those two uh, areas because we have the absolute high floor and we have the, the mid floor section here and we that's the particular layout. So I would not specifically go for studio, uh, although they're already gone, so studios are not available anymore at this particular time. I would highly suggest to a two bedroom or to a three bedroom apartment uh, at this stage, at this side, okay? With that kind of use, that's why I want to link to them. Uh, I would definitely stick to the corner units because the layouts in terms of the sizes, in terms of the structure make a lot of sense for you as an end user and specifically specifically for you as an investor in case that you want to resell those units because those units, uh, they will be gone very fast and they are highly desired and that's what it's all about when it comes to the investment, okay? And on the uh, mid to high floor section between 23 and 29 floor levels, we have it like similar with the three beds and with the two beds here and this orientation on this side, which I highly, highly suggest for both cases, either for you as an end user because of the views, because of the, like, the quality which you have there and um, the, the, the structure and the floor level, okay? Then we have the 30th floor, uh, three zero, which you can see that's another layout. And then on 40th and 41st, we have the penthouses. So we have, of course, the duplex uh, level penthouse house which is the lower floor here with 01 and 02 and then the upper floor 01 02 and uh, as you already see in the pictures in the backgrounds the penthouse amenities and the penthouse pool and everything which you have in the penthouse is just absolutely stunning and um, very special Continuing with the different types. Studio, as I already explained, we have two types. We have two different types in the one bedroom apartment, which you can see here in the left side, uh, here on top of it, okay? And we have the two bedroom apartments here, type A, type B. We have one specific type of the two bedroom plus study. There are no more different layouts. And with the three bedroom plus study, we have type A, type B, and then we have the penthouse level. So the floor plan actually is super simple, um, super easy structured, and I do not want to go specifically now into different forms just wanted to show you the three bedroom plus study, two layouts, the A and the B that you can see, for example, with the total living area, with the total size of 2,500 square foot, 2,577 square foot by type E, and type B is uh, just um, smaller, of course, it's 2,100 
35 square foot. Those are the sizes for the three bedroom apartments and specifically the floor level counts here and the views and the uh, different type which we have available is good. For the two bedroom apartment I would definitely go for uh, the two beds, not necessarily with the study room but with one of those two beds and you can see nearly 1,500 square foot for the type A, it's just awesome. This is the whole balcony area and when you then look at how the, the structure of the living space is uh, accumulated, makes a lot of sense, okay? That's just the overview of the floor plan. Uh, payment plan, which we have here on the last graph. Very simple payment plan. Um, 70, 30 payment plan. That means 20% of the whole amount is due at the booking. And then we have like 10%, 10%, five and five, which totals 50%. So half of the whole amount is due in the first year, which is kind of aggressive, okay? Because you see here, 360 days after the reservation date, which is kind of aggressive, but then it gets very comfortable because the next uh, five, 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 five means 20% in total. They are directly connected and linked to the construction. So only when the construction is on time and when the construction is at this particular level, at 60%, for example, then those uh, percentages are due for the payment and mandatory. Okay, and at the completion date, at the handover, the rest of the 30% uh, is due, obviously, and that equals a 30 70 payment plan. Very transparent. And we've come to an end of this particular project breakdown. Mercer House from Ellington a pure boutique developer and in my opinion based on what you have seen now in this particular video you should have all the facts all the numbers all the USPs in your mind to make a final decision and to be fully convinced that you cannot go wrong with that that this is just something which will work out great because it's fought through until the last nuance with that being said take action acquire for a call down below click the link and let's get in touch and let's have a conversation about this amazing project mm -hmm.